everyone i thought i would come on today and do um a video about my smash books uh i think it was crafting michelle that asked me about these and these were really popular about 2014 um yeah so i thought i would show you some of mine this is one that i used when i was on holiday so i've kept the um plastic on it but I normally take them off when I'm done and they're called smash books because you're just supposed to smash in your memorabilia and your ephemera and pictures and stuff and just glue it in and write about it so they have all the, like these pattern papers and um, you just decorate the pages so this book is about when I went to America in 2017 when my brother and sister-in-law got married and I bought this from Walmart and I have been using this as the paper pack for this album. It's not finished <laughs> at all but uh, I started it while I was on holiday and with the smash book you get a pen and you get a glue stick I can't remember how to take the top off though because I have not used it for so long um, I can't remember but this side's a glue stick anyway that's really gonna bug me I think it might have glued itself together because it's really old. Oh, there you go. You just twist the top and yes, it had glued itself together. I guess my nieces must have used that. Anyway, you just twist it to make the glue stick go up and down. And this is pretty cool for being like on the go scrapbooking, which is what I was doing. And I was scrapbooking with my nieces as well. So I have very minimal supplies. I just, um, use my Polaroid printer on the go so we printed out our photos on here and this is the eyes ink Polaroid printer which means that the ink is inside the paper so you don't have to take spare cartridges you just take spare paper and I store it in this pencil case that I got from Aldi I put the printer in here the cable in there which I'm using at the moment I put papers in this pocket and that just keeps it safe while I'm traveling. I don't particularly like the design on it, but it was functional. They had other ones there. Um, so yeah, to embellish it, I just cut paper uh, flowers out of the papers. Um, yeah, and I also had a few ribbons and stickers that I bought when I was over there to work with my nieces. And then I documented the, uh, apartment that we rented or the house that we rented um i wrote about my journey there this is a picture of my husband in michael's and he was trying to make me laugh by putting on a feather boa and there was this whole aisle of ribbon and i couldn't believe it i thought my mum would like be like a kid in a sweetie shop so i took a picture of that um and then this was a day out with my nieces um these stickers i took with me they were from pound world before i went out of business and then i just used some mambi chipboard stickers that i bought while i was out there uh just to talk about my nieces uh this page was about the wedding um so that was them getting married exchanging the rings my nieces were the bridesmaids and their best friends so they were just giggling all day it was so cute um i did some photos from the holiday so that's my husband sitting on the boat that's us when we went out for dinner uh before the wedding we went and got our nails done and um that's my sister-in-law and my other sister-in-law in the background and my niece zoe um then there was some more about the um wedding and then 
my one of my nieces graduated high school so I wrote about that and then we had um, the night before the wedding we went out together um, at the boat club that they belong to the yacht club and they had a wearing white evening before the wedding and then while we were there we went to old sacramento so i took some pictures of some cool stuff and just documented a bit of that and that's as far as i got um but really all i had was i bought a little pack of um cardstock colors which is what i matted my photos on and the great thing about these photos is they're actually sticky back so um you just peel them and stick them and I just um, scrapbooked with my nieces and I will finish this at some point I haven't done this page or this page yet but I did do this page this was the first day that my husband and I spent together and we went to Arden and he took me craft shopping like literally everywhere I wanted to go in one day it was like the best day of my whole entire life <laughs> so um, I talk about us going shopping and having IHOP for breakfast and so on. Here's another page I haven't finished. I think there's quite a lot in here. Um, it's a page I started but I haven't finished. I stuck that rose in there but I haven't finished it. But I thought I'd show you the whole book in case you're interested in getting a smash book. You can see the kind of pages inside. They're just like really whimsical and fun depending though on um, what kind of book you get but I like the fact that they're not blank pages um, and it lays pretty flat so it's nice to write on did I miss a page? Yeah, I did. And I have several of these journals, but most of them are quite personal. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, this is cute too. Uh, yeah, so I love that dinosaur skeleton. Yeah, so that's what the smash books look like. Um, they also have some other ones and um, these are the Lidy Da range and I started to decorate the cover by painting it um, and I've started to add like tabs in but I haven't by any stretch of the imagination done work in this one but I th again I thought I'd show you what it looks like I stuck these bits on These are photo pockets, which you don't get in the smash books. Um, so these are more scrapbooky. Stuck a thingy label on that one. I stuck this on there. And when I've got scrap papers like this page here. I just collaged all of these flowers onto her head and I've used some Nouveau drops on there just to use those up really. They were just in my scrap bin and they were there forever so they're really like unique and different and fun. So I really like them. And I like these as well because they're actually binders rather than spiral bound. So you can, I can't remember how to do it. Yeah, you push it together. You can actually add more pages in if you want to, which I thought was awesome. You could also totally gut it and put your own papers in. Um... I put that on there in this. Oh, I'm out of shot. I've embellished a little bit. 
And yeah, any time I have scraps, I literally just go in and see if they go with any of the pages and stick them on. Like here, I stuck on butterflies and a tab and, and this thing here. So um, that's quite fun for using up scraps as well as using them as journals. Um, I've got another one here that I haven't started. This is a new one. Oh, it's got a bit of glue on it. Um, Catch alive. They're quite teenagery actually. But if there's a page that I don't like, I just cover it up with another piece of paper. But they're very whimsical. Not all of them are. Um, I've got one that's like mod, which is probably my favorite. It's the Black Smash book. Um, there's there's loads of different styles. There's cutesy ones, there's um, vintagey ones, all sorts. So you just have to look really and see what you like. The only sad thing is that they're quite expensive now because there's not that many left. I don't think they're making them anymore. You can buy the Lardy Dar ones in Hobbycraft for about £15. Um, but the actual smash books themselves are quite hard to find and when I looked them up online they were like 30 quid and they used to be about 15 to 20 pounds so I was quite annoyed about that really um, I wonder if I've got one that I can show you that is more full when I moved house I um, packed up all my completed journals in a big box so, um, oh no, that's my paper. Hmm. Yeah, this is my box of completed journals. <laughs> um, is a smash book. I think this one is pretty much all about, yeah that's one I can't show, but that is one design. Um, I think a lot of these I can't show because they're um, quite personal. Yeah that one's another one from therapy. I think this one might be okay. Um, so I started this in 2013, but it actually goes on to 2014. And I just stamp and draw in here. Uh, today, I had, that day I had a good day. I did a page about my best friend at school. And the day that I told her that we were dressing up like a pirate for my birthday and then we all changed our mind but didn't tell her <laughs> so she came as a poster supplier um, this is about self care that was about ideas it's a page about my dad this one's blank oh, I have some blank pages I'll have to go and fill these up Uh, that was the day that I went to the London Eye and I just taped in um, tickets and the photos from my eyes ink printer. That was a page I started that I haven't finished. That was when my husband went to see QPR v Reading at home. Well, Reading were at home. We're not Reading fans though. So. Just to clarify, oh my husband might kill me. So yeah, I just decorate with washi. Uh, this is cut out from a magazine. This one's obviously not finished, but um, that was a die cut from the ephemera pack. That's a tag that I made that I did tape in, but it keeps falling out. Um, some ephemera that I stuck in. That's another day about self-care. Uh, 
blank one. Oh, I've got blank ones in here. Memories. That was a psalm that I was reading at the time. Um, another blank page. I thought this one was finished, so I'm quite glad I got it out now. Um, yeah, so you just get a feel for what kind of things that you get in a, scrap, a smash book. So yeah, I will be finishing that now. I'm going to take it out of my finished journals. <laughs> Um, and the other thing that I like to use for journals is these cheap sketchbooks um, and I just draw in them and write how I'm feeling and that kind of thing. I'm going quickly because I don't particularly want it to be read but I do tip-ins about what food I've been eating. Um, yeah, I just doodle. Um, that kind of thing. Um, this one's another daily journal style. Yeah, I think they're pretty much all the same all the way through. Oh, that was trigger logs from counselling. Yeah, um, I had another textbooky one not textbooky just a lined this was literally a lined journal from um, Ikea years ago so uh, this is a letter I wrote to my dad this was about my dream job this was about a friend who died this was about nightmares I was having that was some random thing in my head. This was about someone lying to me. That was a really bad picture I drew. That was my first self-portrait that really sucked. Um, that was some Bible verses. Oh, journaling about food. I probably won't share that because food is not my favourite. This was me exploring about what identity was. Um, this was me looking at what grieving meant. This was me writing about um, stuck points and different beliefs when I was doing CBT. This was talking about emotions and trauma. Um, this was me researching how the like neuroscience and the brain reacts to um, parenting and um, the effects on the body when um, you have disorganised attachment to your caregiver for whatever reason. Uh, that was me having a panic attack and feeling like everything was a tornado. Uh, that one I don't want to share. This one was me looking into my identity and things that I felt about myself. And different things I drew about myself. This one was me learning about emotional boundaries in relationships and inside myself. And that was it. Yep. Yeah. So you can literally journal in anything. It doesn't have to be a fancy journal. It can literally just be a book of lying paper that you write in, slap paint on, stick things to, abuse. Because <laughs> I feel like I pretty much abused this book. But um, this was the first journal I ever completed. This was my first ever therapy journal. Um, and then I moved on to this for scrapbooking, which I never finished because I think I just got too depressed, to be honest. I wasn't very happy at that point in my life. This one I thoroughly enjoyed and I do want to finish. And then these were my second and third therapy journals. This was a therapy journal and this one was a therapy journal. So 
I have completed a, quite a few journals. So these ones are completely completed and these two need to be finished. So that's one, two, three, four, five, five completely finished. And that was over about four years. And before that, I never used to journal. And then obviously recently I made my latest journal, which hopefully I will do a video on how to make soon, as I've seen someone comment about make, wanting to make one and not knowing where to start, which is exactly how I felt at the beginning. And then when I decided that I was just gonna play and if it didn't work, it didn't matter. It kind of just all came together. So that was really cool. So I would happily teach somebody else how to do that. Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling now. So I'm just going to say oh, thanks for watching. And I hope you found that useful on the different types of journals you could use. And the fact that you don't need something really fancy. Um, I also have art journals. I don't know if you'd be interested in that. That's a completely different category for me. I like to use mixed media paper for that if I'm like doing serious painting um like serious is in a lot of wet media because that kind of stuff buckles although yesterday I did manage to watercolor a moth in one of those little sketchbooks that are like a pound from Hobbycraft so it can be done you just have to be more mindful but when I'm doing lots of mixed media and I'm layering stuff on top of each other, I like to use a proper art journal. So if you're interested in art journaling, let me know and I will see if there's one that I can share without being too embarrassed. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.